Wilhelm Conrad Rongen was born on 27th March 1845, 175 years ago, at Lennep, Germany, at the banks of Rhine River in Germany. His father, Frederick Conrad Rongen, was a cloth merchant, manufacturer, and exporter of the cloth, and mother, Charlotte Constanza Frovin, she was from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Father and mother, they were cousins, and it was a rare marriage in the Europe. William Conrad was the lonely son of the wealthy parents. So had it been like that, then he wouldn't have done the things, but he was very much interested into the science and research. 1848, at the age of three, the family moved to Appledorm in Netherlands for greater prosperity because Netherlands from that shipping and exporting the cloth was better. In 1863, when Willem was in a class, one of his friends has drawn a caricature of his student. And when the teacher entered the class, saw the caricature at which the Willem was looking at, and he thought he has drawn the caricature. He started scolding him and asked who he has drawn. He don't wanted to tell the name of his friend. And for that thing, he was resticated from the school. You cannot imagine as on day anybody, any student, a teacher can resticate like this. And uh, uh, then father said, okay, well, we have our business, we can do the things, but he wanted to study. So he appeared as an external student for a school living examination. That time it was very imp important to get an admission into the college. Unfortunately, or I will say fortunately, the same teacher was an examiner and then Wilhelm Conrad Rondon failed in the school living examination. And because he did not have any school living examination certification, he did not get admission for a college in Netherlands. And uh, it was uh, uh, fortunately in 1866, 18th of November, a newly formed institute in Zurich. Then there he could get the admission without a school living uh, examination certificate and he continued his study. He got a diploma in mechanical engineering from the Zurich uh, Technical School. And while he was in uh, Zurich, Switzerland, there was a Ludwig cafe where in the evening uh, he used to go uh, to spend time with his friends and then. The Ludwig cafe owner had uh, three daughters and one of them was Anna Bertha Ludwig and uh, young Wilhelm Conrad Rongen fell in love with Anna Bertha Ludwig while in Zurich. The, this is the house in Lennep, now called as a Lennep Ramshade in Germany. And this house is converted into Rondgen Museum. And all his uh, earlier things and also the research thing, they are here. This is a photograph of Anna Bertha Ludwig, whom he married. On 22nd June 1869, he got a PhD under Professor Kuhn at the University of Zurich on the study of gases. In 1870, his uh, PhD guide and teacher, Professor Kuhn and Ron Jain, moved to the University of Urzburg. But uh, when he moved there, he was denied a promotion because he did not have the living school living certificate. So Ulzburg initially in 1871 refused to give him the promotion. And therefore, Rongen and Kuhn moved to Strasbourg University in Austria. In 1872, January 19, the Wilhelm Conrad Rongen married Anna Bertha Ludwig. 1875, at the age of 30 years, he was appointed Chair of Physics at Agriculture Academic University, OEM. But unfortunately, the research fund at that university was very less, and he wanted to continue his research in interest. Because of the limited fund, he decided to move 
to another university and he moved in 1876 as associate professor to Strasbourg University. It was, uh, he was earlier chair of physics, but he accepted a one lower post associate professor in Strasbourg because of the availability of the funds and uh, research facilities. In 1879, he became a full professor at Gissing University again in Germany. In 1887, they decided to adopt uh, a child because uh, in 15 years of the marriage, they did not have any children and therefore they decided to adopt uh, a child. And uh, it was a niece, Mrs. Uh, Rondin, that is Anna Bartha Ludwig's brother's daughter, Josefina Bartha, they adopted her. Josefina married to a dentist. Unfortunately, they did not also have any children and therefore the family progeny of Rondin has ended and nobody is there to blame why Rondin did not earn the wealth and he, he has opened up the x-ray and not taken the patent of this thing. Nobody is to blame there. Because he became a very famous researcher and experimenter, 1885, he discovered Rondin current. 1888, he moved to chair at the Ludwig Maximilian University, Munich, and ultimately he remained there uh, for, for lastly before moving to uh, the Würzburg University. This Maximilian University is a very famous university, 500-year-old university, and more than 42 Nobel laureate associated with this university studied or worked there. In 1894, Vice Chancellor of the University, Rector at Ulsburg University, the university which refused to give him a promotion for want of a school living certificate, appointed him a Vice Chancellor because of his research abilities and he became very famous researcher. On 8th November 1895, within one year of joining as a vice chancellor to the university at Urugu University, studying cathode rays in Cook's tube, he discovered X-ray uh, when he saw fluorescence light, and that you know very well, and it's a chance discovery. It was an accidental discovery, which uh, he was studying cathode rays passing. And this is a lab, and these are the equipment people blame many a time that I don't have a very good laboratory equipment to do the research, how I can do. You can see, look at the thing with the small things he could do and he produced uh, the kind of research which has revolutionized the medical and diagnostic field. And uh, William Conrad Rondin, uh, this is Anna Bartha Ludwig, uh, because he discovered the x-rays on 8th November 1895, that time he was almost 50 years old and he put himself a lot of uh, research and the properties he went on studying early morning he used to go to lab very late in the night he was coming so Anna Bertha thought why this man is not coming what is the problem and then one day evening she went to his lab on 22nd December he took her hand and took this radiograph this is the first radiograph of the world taking x-ray which he has gifted to Professor Ludwig Jenner in January 1896. The institute where uh, W.C. Rondin discovered the x-rays. So 1896, January 23rd, lecture to the Society of Physics and Medicine in Wolfsburg. He gave it, took x-ray image of a famous anatomy professor, Kolikair. Professor Kolikair only suggested the x-ray name should, should be Rondin rays not just X-rays, and therefore in Germany, it's a rondinology, rondin rays, rondin therapy. Rondin refused to patent the X-rays. He opened to the mankind, and that is the reason today we can have X-ray in few rupees or a dollar, so it's a reach of a poor man because of his humanity, because of his kindness, and the moment it was opened, uh, the uh, Siemens factory in electricity it was there. They took up this thing. They made started making X-rays, and uh, that has how it has uh, proved. And this is the picture of uh, the Rondin taken run of Albert von Kalliker. He took the anatomist image, uh, public lecture on 23rd January 1896. And this is a picture of uh, Kolikar on 23rd January 1896. 
uh, for this great discovery in 1901 he was awarded first nobel prize of physics nobel prize started in 1901 however he donated all his money of a nobel prize what he has got to the university charity for the mankind the humanitarian aspect and honorary doctor of medicine from Wurzburg University he was awarded he accepted an appointment at Columbia University in New York he was he was to go to US and work there in US New York City and bought the transatlantic ticket that time because that time it was to travel by the ship and uh, he took that ticket before the outbreak of the world war 1 he changed his plan and he remained in Munich for the rest of his career because world war started in 1914 and then he went uh, into a secluded life fell into bankruptcy and uh, uh, in 1998 anabarta his wife expired it brought him again eccentric uh, secluded life 1920 he retired from the munich university 1923 at age of the 70 years he died due to colorectal cancer cremated in old cemetery at gesen in germany where parent cemetery is there international union of pure and applied chemistry iupac has named 11 element number 111 as a rontgenium and also you know radiation exposure unit is rontgen immortalizing rontgen's name is work as for his last wish all the papers and publication are destroyed except the nobel prize what he has got and that nobel prize is kept into wurzburg the museum there they have prepared the department of uh, uh, the physics they have prepared the museum there and i could see this original this thing and this is a grave wilhelm conrad rondgen at alter friedhof old cemetery in gesen in germany you can see in his memory a german government has brought out the postal stamps uh, in 1939 and 1951 bearing the image of the wilhelm conrad rondgen 